Are you ready for some sweet, sweet game hoarding? Arr, 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 arr. Hello humans and welcome to another episode of Gen X Gamer. Guys, never believe a game hoarder. <laughs> I'm kidding guys, I went out with my son for Father's Day and we went out and bought some games, some stuff for the kids. And uh, I'm going to go through the, my pickups. I also went to GameStop to their um, Pro Day sale and picked up some stuff. You know, there's consoles out right now and bundles that you can buy. They have different things, two for one t-shirt, stuff like that. Not a lot of stuff that I was interested to tell you the truth. Um, the, <laughs> you know, the, the Wii U section, the PS3 section, Xbox 360 section. I mean, there wasn't there. I mean, the guy was talking to me and telling me, oh, you can save this. And I was like, dude, I have these games. And he was like, really? And I'm like, no. And then I showed him a picture of this stuff. And he was like, oh, shit, you're right. <laughs> the picture that I have from my iPhone, I could actually blow it up and show him, look, I got, because I have it in alphabetical order, right? So I can go right to the games and show them. But anyway, guys, um, you know, that's one of the, the, uh, bad things about having a large collection is that you know most of the stuff that you're gonna find out there you probably already have and the stuff that you don't have is really really expensive regardless guys let me go through these games real quick so I can show you what I picked up and these are games that are decent price I got uh, Gauntlet 7 Sorrow right for the PS2 for 10 buckaroos and that's the list price there guys I got an additional uh, discount because I'm a member of that store um, here's a game because I, I, I really like this movie. It brings back great memories for me. The Mummy on um, the PS2, and that's eight bucks. And it's just a movie that I used to watch with my kids. You know, Brandon Fra Fraser was one of our favorite actors back then. You know, whatever he was on, we would watch. Uh, here's another one, and I really like this one Star Ocean Till the End of Time. I haven't played it, but the Star Ocean uh, games that I've played, I've liked so far. And this one has everything in it. It's pretty cherry as far as condition. And that one was 20 bucks. That, that was the most expensive game. I got a copy of Turok, which I didn't have for the Xbox 360. And that was uh, $10. And right here, guys, this is the stuff that I live for as a game collector when I go into a store and I'm just going through the bins, you know, and these guys are asking me, can I help you? Can you do this? Can, can, I, can I sell you this? Can I show you that? And I was like, no, 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 just, just let me be. I'm looking right for those hidden gems right and uh, um, some shop owners know right when I found something and this was a case on this this is Saint for the Wii and he had it for eight bucks and as soon as he saw it when I gave it to him he goes you got me you got me I know that is gonna go up in price right <laughs> there isn't this many um, there's not a lot of shooters for for the Wii at least that's what he told me about this is something I didn't almost never see in the wild guys so I was just like eight bucks right away and he knew it right right then he goes I would have sold it to you for 15 at least so you know that was that well here's some uh, games that I got at GameStop Pro Sale I re-signed for the magazine again because it's due in December you know and uh, I think last time the, the gal that was trying to sell it to me, she put it, she screwed it up and she just put digital, you know, and I just have been too busy to go back. So, you know, I re-signed again because, you know, I get another discount. But anyway, I got 10% off of these prices on top of that. Plus, I had a in-store coupon, right, because I have so many points for $25. <laughs> so... Uh, $6.99 less 10% for Dragon Ball Z Fighter. So I got that. I got, uh, let's see, let me go with the PS4 here, guys. I've been trying to build on the PlayStation uh, collection because that is what I have a couple of holes for, and it's just bugging me, right? I, it's like, it's especially now that I'm taking out duplicates, I see some holes in the. <laughs> I see some molds in the collection. I'm like, I gotta fill that. I can't see see that little gap up there. Can't have that. Can't have that OCD. Just I gotta have it, right? This is a space. You know, this is a space that I keep for my own mental health. Like this is where I come and read. You know, sometimes I'll play games, but 
not the amount of time that most people do that have these type of collections. Um, but let me get into that after I show you these. So I got a copy of Resident Evil. I got this for like 12 bucks, less 10%. And of course the coupon, uh, The Last Guardian. Right. I got a copy of Godfall. This was like $10. Okay. And I got Immortals, Phoenix Rising for the PS5. These two for the PS5, you know, just to keep on adding to that. And something I got for um, my grandkid, I got him a set of Pokemon cards because he's collecting. He's really into that stuff. So I know he likes that, so I bought him some of those and they were like 30% off. And I'm really glad I got that one because it was the last pack and I got it 30% off because it's open. Right, so on top of that, I used the, the five dollar coupon. <laughs> so I think, uh, what was it? It's like uh, 13 or 15 bucks or something like that. And then um, I got the 30% off because it was open. And then I got, um, I used my five dollar coupon on there. So, you know, but it's all together in the bill. You know, I, I saved a bunch of money. There's a lot of pro stuff, a lot of great deals. If you guys specifically want to um, collect for the uh, Xbox 360, the PS3, there's good deals out there right now, so just keep an eye out. One of the things I wanted to talk to you about is being a shelf collector, right? Um, uh, it's pretty hard when you get to these numbers not to have games that you haven't played yet, right? But myself, right, I can only speak for myself, and I thought of this because I was watching the CU podcast where, <laughs> where Ian, <laughs> Pat ass. Somebody called in and said, are you a shelf collector? And Ian, without missing a beat, said, yes. <laughs> and you can just see Pat's heart just break. <laughs> he was even saying, oh, you're taking shots at me. And you're a shelf collector, you're a shelf collector. You know, he came up with these excuses that this collection has allowed me to do this and that and the other. Look, there's, if you're a shelf collector, you're a shelf collector. I mean, some people do that, right? Um, me, I play my games every week, right? I try to pick a, uh, I try to pick a couple of games to play. Specifically, if they mean something to me. Um, over the years, I collected only things that I want to play, right? I bought them because I want to play them. Some of them are really cheap. Most of them are really cheap. And some of them are worth more money. Some of them, uh, you know, are worth more money now than when I bought them, right? Uh, specifically, the Shin Megami Tensei stuff, for example. You know, I go play all the time. I love that combat system. It's my favorite. My favorite publisher is Atlas. You know, I'm always playing their games. If I had to say there's one publisher that I play the most, it's, it's that one, right? Um, and the more systems you have, the more difficult it is, right? So the older systems, you know, when do I make time for the Saturn? Where, when do I make time for, for the Dreamcast? When do I make time for, for you know, Atari? You know, there's only so much time I'm going to dedicate to video games. Um, one of the reasons I don't think, you know, after, you know, looking at my time and my responsibilities and everything I have to do, um, I don't know what kind of content I could put out in video games that would, um, you know, attract a lot of views because I can't, uh, I can't spend the amount of time that streamers do on, on their YouTube channels, right? I don't, I mean, I've seen some guys spend 10, 13 hours a week just playing games. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have 13 hours to spare, you know, I, I don't. I don't have 13 hours to play video games. That kind of time, I don't have. So I'm playing a lot of pick up and go games now. I'm playing, you know, the, the first sections of several games, you know, and I save them. And I, and I go forward, but I make an effort to do that. So the time that I do have to play video games, I make sure that I'm playing something that I haven't played or something that I want to play, but I'm going through my collection for the, the, the purpose of enjoying it, right? It's just not just stacking stuff for the hell of it. Probably where I'm a shelf collector, that's my oven, probably where I'm a shelf collector, I want to say it would be on Steam. You know, I'm always clicking on Steam and <laughs> probably going to play a lot of those when I'm retired because I, you know, every time there's a sale, I just go on there 
and I'm buying and buying and buying. And uh, I have a lot of games in my library that I haven't played, I'm not going to lie. So in the Steam uh, collection, I want to say I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a shelf collector when it comes to, to Steam. But there are always games, again, that I, that I either want to play, I have played, or I want to play, you know, later on. You know, and there's games that I get addicted to. Uh, you know, like Vampire Survivor, when I started playing that, that's just awesome to play. I can't wait for that to be on the Game Pass. And speaking of the Game Pass, guys, let me tell you, because of the Game Pass and the Backbone specifically, I'm playing more pick up and, uh, pick up and play games uh, because of that. And my next video, right, my next video is going to be on how to, how I manage, right, my relationship and playing video games and how I make that compatible. All right, so that's gonna be the next video. I'll put it up in the next couple of days. I'm also gonna do the investment video, just so you know. But right now, let me show you some of the duplicates, right, some of the duplicates that I'm putting on sale and they're gonna fund our portfolio. All right, so let's get it. Now I'm giving you a sample of some of these guys and I really wanna gauge, gauge the market. You know, unless it's, I know it's a game that's a little bit more expensive, I just want to put it out there, you know, for 99 cents and let them battle it out. You know what I'm saying? Especially because I know there's a lot of um, price gougers out there. And that way, you know, somebody that may like the game might have the opportunity to buy it at a fair price. When I average these downs, <laughs> these uh, games down, guys, especially these duplicates, I priced them out. And the average price that I paid for these games is about 75 cents. So I'm trying to be as fair as I can. I'm not trying to, to gouge anybody, but you know, it'll go for fair market value and let's see what we get for our portfolio. But I want to do it the right way. You know, I, I don't want to go out there and get the top dollar for all these games. And I am pretty um, conscientious of what I put as far as the uh, the state of the games, you know, like if they have a little scratch or something, you know, just, just try to, to be um, somebody that I would like to buy from, you know, for example. But anyway, guys, let me show you some of the stuff here. The original Xbox, we have Agent Under Fire 007. You see, I'm gonna do all the Xbox first. Mech Assault. Let's go real quick through them. Uh, Ghost Recon. Burnout Revenge. This is a good game, I like it. Oh, one of my favorites. Brute Force. Let's see, this is, right now we can, oh. Xbox 360, Catherine. Catherine. Okay, that's from Atlas. You know, that I'm doing for the portfolio. I don't really sell Atlas games, not even the duplicates, but we're trying here. God of War 3, I'm putting up there. Smuggler's Run. We're doing uh, Resident Evil Raccoon City. And we're doing Starhawk. Okay, let me go get some more. Dragon Dogma Dark Razor. Rainbow Six Three for the Xbox. We have Project Gotham Racing. This one I think is just the box. Yeah, that I'm gonna keep there. We got a Halo 2. We got an original. You know what? This is the game of the year edition. I might not sell this because I keep all the different variants so you know so that one no game hoarding <laughs> bioshock infinite guys that's some of the stuff that that i'm going to sell for the portfolio i still have to go through my playstation stuff i haven't done that and then we'll see from there right i'm going to spend this weekend just uh going through the house seeing what other stuff i have putting it out there and let's see how much money we can raise for the portfolio but I'll give you more ideas on how our strategy is going to go um, on that on the next video guys I just want to sit down with you talk to you about video games you know there's so much going on in the world right now everybody's talking about politics this and that and the other and this is just something for you guys to have a break <laughs> maybe you've had a long day maybe you want to talk about something else other than the freaking world and how everything's going to to hell in a handbasket for a lot of people 
or how, you know, or just getting away from all the drama that people are, are engaged in on the internet now. Because, you know, if you look at the internet, it's like the world is ending, right? I walk outside and it's a sunny day and it's summer. <laughs> Live a little, relax. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. New videos every Monday and Sunday. Thank you for joining me on another episode of the Gen X Gamer. Remember to like and subscribe, click that notification bell, and remember, never ever be afraid to be happy. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.